Hello party people. Welcome back to one of my favorite videos to film. Hopefully one of your favorite videos to watch because it's definitely not one of my favorite videos to edit. It's a what's for dinner video. That's right. Why was it so hard for me to say? I don't know. I am in the kitchen because obviously it's time to make dinner. So I figure let's hang out while we do it. I'm just going to jump right in because tonight's dinner I'm really excited about. I'm making a brand new to me recipe. I mean, I've had this meal before, but I've never made it myself. I am making drum roll. I'm making chicken pot pie. My friends, this is what I am using for today's recipe. Um, I am substituting things. I will link recipes for you guys. The biggest thing I'm substituting is it calls for heavy whipping cream and I have half and half. And then it also calls for mushrooms and like frozen peas. I don't have mushrooms or frozen peas, so I did an extra onion and an extra few celery stalks and an extra few um, carrots. I've been live, laugh, loving my Dutch oven in this new house. I can have to wash everything by hand anyway, so it no longer makes a big difference in my life whether I wash this pan or a different pan. Just throwing my chicken in here. Okay, one of the biggest things I've learned and probably one of my best money-saving tips, honestly, is just keeping in mind that recipes are guidelines and they are not set in stone rules. If you're wanting to make a recipe and you don't have everything that you need, just substitute some items in. I promise you it's going to taste delicious. The more time you spend in the kitchen, the easier that will become. I mean, honestly, I can't even remember the last time I followed a recipe to its complete, like everything exactly correct. Because number one, I never click on one recipe. So like, Say, for instance, I'm looking to make, um, this was chicken pot pie, right? Well, I'm going to look up, like, I'm going to look at, like, four or five different chicken pot pie recipes and then pull from each one different things that I think I either, I have, it's easy to do, whatever. I'm never going to just follow one, but that's just how I cook. It's what works best for me. It makes cooking really easy, really flexible, and really fun, and it's also... The less restrictions you put on yourself, honestly, the more money you're going to save because, girl, if I followed every single recipe that ever existed ever in every single dinner, I would have so many random ingredients in my fridge that I never use that I have to throw out after a while. So just being flexible and easy and like, you know, knowing that nothing is set in stone is probably going to be your best bet. Also, um, something to keep in mind, really big rule of my house, another one. All these rules in my house are literally just things I do all the time. Okay, don't listen to the rules. I mean, listen to the rules. Whatever. You get what I'm saying. Season every, season every layer, my friends. You should not be cooking something and put your, your seasoning in once and be like, oh, it's seasoned. No, girl. Season every layer. Even if you just use salt and pepper, it's going to make a big difference in your cooking. It's going to add more flavor, more depth. I promise you, you will not regret seasoning every layer. Just do it. Okay. Let me tell you guys. Chicken pot pie, now that I'm off my soapboxes for the evening, this recipe was so easy and it was honestly really good. I need to get some aluminum foil. I actually need to put that on my list of things to get because I think I would have cooked it for longer. I cooked it at like 425 for like 20 minutes, but the outer edges were starting to get really, really brown and I didn't want to burn them but I wanted the top layer to have a bit more crisp to it. And I will say we, we dove into this really fast, but if you let it sit for maybe like 10 minutes after you pull it out of the oven, that's the sweet spot because everything, you know, cools off and you have a nice, thick, hearty chicken pot pie. This one was so good and I will make it again. Okay, my friends, so tonight I am making a lemon chicken orzo soup. Uh, by the way, I watched Kim Wad's video and I'm literally just doing exactly what she did in the video. I do it often, I'm not gonna lie. Her recipe videos always give me really good ideas. Okay, so lemon chicken orzo soup. This was, the chicken pot pie and this were probably my husband and I's favorite meals this week. It was so sinking good and so delicious. Honestly, it was ready in 30 minutes, it was great. So I'm gonna talk you through it. So if you wanna try it, give it a go. And I'll also link Kim's video for you guys to check out. So I started by making the chicken. Don't clean your pan out. Use that chi those chicken grease bits in there mm, to flavor your veggies. You'll thank me later, okay? Let those cook down, get nice and soft. And then to the softened veggies, I added a little bit of flour and let that cook down, let the flour taste get out of the, the veggies. That's important. And then you season with more garlic 
and then you pour your chicken broth in and I squeezed two whole lemons into this because I wanted it to be a strong lemon flavor and girl it was it was really good and then you add your one cup of orzo and you let that come to a boil season it with more seasonings <laughs> um, and then once it came to a boil I let it simmer for about 20 minutes and then after it sat for 20 minutes I'm adding the chicken back in to have everything come up to temp at the same time it was so stinking good hearty delicious great for fall and cold weather definitely give this one a go i got cans of green beans super cheap at the grocery outlet i got um sweet potatoes super cheap um uh, manager markdowns and then i got some lemons super cheap and i got some pork chops for super cheap they're thawing out and so those those things inspired tonight's dinner which is going to be super super simple meat starch veggie and i'm going to show you the pork chop recipe because I'm sure you know how to cook a sweet potato and I know you how to make know how to make canned green beans. We're gonna put in the juice of two lemons. And then we're gonna add the pepper. Alright, and then we're gonna do salt. Then we're gonna do some garlic powder in here, some paprika for a little smokiness. And then the recipe calls for some like Cajun seasoning. So I'm gonna throw that in there, see how that goes. I'm gonna mix this up. I'm thinking about just leaving them both in here while everything comes up at room temp. I should have probably gotten a larger bowl. And then to a hot pan, we are going to fry up our pork chops just a few minutes per side until they are done. Obviously, I was struggling to flip that one, but we got it done, and this was good and honestly super simple and delicious. All right, we are gathered to make yet another dinner. Tonight's dinner is going to be super simple. We're throwing it in the crock pot. We're making a soup. Okay, so if you guys haven't watched my two-week grocery haul that I posted before this video, I definitely encourage you to check it out. That video shows you everything that I purchased, and I used that those things up in this video. I really like cooking this way. I usually go into the week with a few recipes in mind based on sales. And then a lot of times my recipes are flexible and change throughout the week because like this week I found those like medallions, like beef medallions that's good for like a soup or whatever. And I needed to use up these veggies. So the natural next dish was like a beef stew super easy super delicious garrett and i had a busy day this day and so all i did was stick it in the crock pot for the whole day and it was so good another great fall soup all right my friends welcome to the last meal of this what's for dinner video i just got home from yoga it is gonna be a late dinner tonight but and honestly i don't really know what i'm making quite yet i have some options in my brain um i think I have chicken thawing out, so I'm thinking I'm going to do like a cage, like a chicken something. Um, so genuinely, um, what's for dinner? <laughs> Okay, let me talk you guys through my thought process for this meal. Okay, so I knew I had onions left. I knew I had chicken, which I had thawed out that day. I knew that I had broccoli, some orzo. Did I say lemons? I knew I had lemons. So, and I also knew that I was really hot or like really sweaty and gross from yoga. And so I wanted to make my food, be able to leave it for a little bit and come back and then not have to do much else to eat because I was really hungry. So that is how this meal was made. It's like a... I don't even know, lemon, Cajun, orzo, pasta. That's what it became. It was really good. Um, so I seasoned my uh, chicken and onions with like a lemon uh, butter sauce situation. I'll let everything cook in that sauce. And then I added the orzo. And again, with the idea of seasoning every layer, it's going to make a big difference for you. I promise you, like, please season every layer. Do yourself a favor just try it. Okay. If you're not typically, typically seasoning every layer, just give it a go. And then I'm going to add more lemon. I'm going to do one whole lemon at this point and then, you know, season again with all the same things I had used before, stir that in. And then I went to go take a shower and let the pasta sit for about 20 minutes. I added chicken and then I also had some broccoli. So I threw that in as well. I mixed that together and you guys, this was ready so quickly. I was able to shower and it was super good. Okay, my friends, that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe and hang out for more. Okay, bye.